Hello, kitties. Day five of quarantine. Feel a little bit like Matt Damon in the uh, Martian, where he's like filming videos to planet Earth and hopes they're coming to save him. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's a good movie. Recommend it. Uh, what would a workout be without a little movie or music recommendation from me? Uh, today we are going to do a little bit of damp, and then we are going to do a dumbbell circuit workout, I guess. I've got five different dumbbell exercises. So hopefully you guys have a pair or you can come down to the facility and grab a pair. I'm going to have us on for a timer, which is right there. Of course, I don't want you to have to pay attention to the timer. Just listen to the sounds. I've got us 30 seconds on and 12 seconds off. And we are going to come up and we're going to start the timer. And we're going to start with toy soldiers. So we're going to stand nice and tall. Timer's on. Move this dumbbell so we don't trip on it. Body nice and tall. We are going to just bring one foot up. Control your balance better than I just did. Opposite foot. So again, shoulders back, chest out, raising those legs. And just getting a nice little stretch, getting those hips moving. To the beep. And again, like I said, we got a 12 second break and we're going to get into the next exercise, which is around the world, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with in our program. If you have a Swiss ball, go ahead and grab it. I'm going to do this without. So I'm going to have a slight bend in my knees, feet wide, and I'm going to stretch back as far as I can reach. And I'm going to hinge forward. Keeping integrity in my spine and reach around. You can give me one or two, one direction, and then we're gonna change. Give me a couple, one direction. And then if time allots, we're just gonna keep alternating. And that's our timer. Next, everybody's favorite. You got some cones set out here. This is my guidelines on the video. If I walk out of those, you won't see me. That'd be a shame. Inchworms, standing tall. Inchworm out. And I want you going with your core as close to the ground as you can. And then with those back legs nice and straight, walk up to that V. Walk back out as far as you can. Hold the stretch if you want. And then walk back, up, nice and slow. You'll end up in that nice V position. Next, walking toe touch. One foot will go over the other, and you are simply going to one vertebrae at a time. Inch forward, try to touch those toes. Get that nice stretch on your backside. Stand up, take a step, reach across with the other foot. And give me that nice one vertebrae at a time. Stretch and hold. Step, walk, stretch, and hold. And again, your hamstrings, your calves should be feeling a nice little stretch. And so find a, something, find a mark on the wall, whatever. Lay something out, put some tape. We're gonna do a little bit of ladder type stuff. And we're just gonna cross over. So pretend you got that nice long ladder facing you. And we are just going to do the crossover ladder for 14 more seconds. Hands can be on your waist, hands can be free wherever you want them to be. We are just doing the crossover. Then I got a nice surprise for everybody who misses their ladder exercises. But we can bring it to you, courtesy of the worldwide interweb. Three seconds, squat touch. Yes, you're welcome. Squat, squat touch, squat touch. Remember, when you squat, sit back on those heels, back is nice and straight, chest out for your squat touch. 
Anyway, you see the timer? Please. Oh, there we go. Toy soldiers, back to the top. Game standing nice and tall. Shoulders in their sockets, back, chest out. Hands forward like Frankenstein. And just nice steps. Again, kind of opening up that hip. Getting everything ready for the dumbbell circuit that awaits us. Just what you guys have always wanted. Video of Charlie breathing heavy. Woo! Now I see why you guys love those squat touches. And there we go. Back to around the world. Okay, give me a couple one direction, a couple the other way. Reaching back as far as you can and hinging forward without keep your balance. And again, it's just a slight hinge forward. Do two one direction, two the other. Try to get one more in each way before the beep. <sighs> Inchworms, start at my other cone. I should average two, three. I kind of slowed mine down because I've got the cone borders. So again, nice and slow. Hold, step up. Step out with your hands. Get that core as close as you can. Step back up. Hopefully I won't go too far out of the border. Step back up. Inchworms. Walking toe touch. Again, crossing the foot over the forward, the other one. Did that make sense? Cross, nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Let that head hang, come back up, step. One vertebrae at a time. Again, let that head hang, you should feel that nice. Stretch on the hamstrings, calves. Come up, step. Feels good. And, Shut time for one more. Back to your crossover step. Again, finding your tape or your belt or your imaginary line. Crossover. Again, we don't have to go super fast. We're just getting some coordination going, getting our brains thinking. <clears throat> Hopefully everybody's had time to come pick up some equipment. If not, remember, you can. So you can enjoy these videos and do some workouts at home. Back to squat touch. Pretty soon we're about 30 seconds away from a break. And squat down, touch, up, jump. Squat touch. We're gonna not talk so much. Timer, come on timer. Whew, that can be the longest 30 seconds in history. Grab yourself a drink. Where did I leave mine? Be with you guys in a second. Get a drink, take a break. <clears throat> All right, she goes hustle, hustle. All right, so hello, Matt Damon's back. Hopefully, 
you guys have some dumbbells. Like I said, if not, I know where you can find a pair. We're back to 30 seconds on. We're gonna have five exercises. We have dumbbell runner's reach. You have both dumbbells, single leg planted, same side as the swing leg going back is the same side that's gonna reach to an imaginary object in front of you. We're gonna do four rounds, so remember which base leg you started with. Dumbbell bent over rows, so we're gonna hinge feet about shoulder width, about shoulder width. We're gonna hinge, that butt's gonna be out, shoulders in their sockets, dumbbells in front, and we're gonna alternate rowing the dumbbell. Next will be a plank hold. And this is one that's gonna seem really easy, but it could be a long 30 seconds. So you're gonna come into a high point, and when the timer beeps, you're gonna hold. Now notice, my body did not shift one direction or another. I'm in that push-up position, and I am just bringing a hand to my hip. Okay? That's going to be number three. Number four is going to be a squat down thrust. Wide feet down. Pop up. Go overhead. Squat down thrust. Pop up overhead. And number five, it's going to be dumbbell punches. We're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, reaching in front. And one, two, three, four. Punching out diagonally. Pretend you have a unicorn horn and you're following the path of the horn. We're not going up here to where our back arches and extends where it should not be extending to. So, let's get the timer. I'm gonna take my glasses off so that is not an issue. Timer set for 30 seconds. Of course, I need my glasses to read the board. So we'll put them back on. Runner's reach, we're gonna stay to one side. So, start with our right leg down. Two dumbbells, left foot swings back, left hand touches. Keep that foot floating, repeat. Those hips should stay square to the floor and square to the wall in front of you through the motion. If you need to have a little bend in that base leg, please do. Bend over alternating rows. Feet shoulder, again, hinge, right? Shoulders back and row. And we're just alternating. So you're rowing that kettlebell, I'm sorry, dumbbell, to about your ribs. Don't go too fast, you don't wanna hit your ribs. But that chest stays out and those shoulders stay back. Don't round the shoulders, keep that chest out. If you start to feel a pain in your lower back, that's the correction you need to make. Plank holds. Let's start with right dumbbell going to our hip. Nice push up position and hold. And I'm not gonna talk. This is a hard one. Come on, timer. There we go. Squat down thrust, overhead press. Feet wide. Dumbbells to the floor. 
feet go skinny, back to wide, up, overhead. No jumping necessary. Up, 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 up. And up. Dumbbell punches. Yeah, I'm gonna go from a side angle. We're gonna punch one, two, three, four, down. Go forward, one, two, three, four, diagonal. One, two, three, four, back to down, so a little hitch. One, two, three, four, out front. One, two, three, four. In unicorn horn, one, two, three, four. Hinge down, one, two, three, four. Take yourself a quick break. I'm gonna grab a towel. We're gonna go back to round two. The runner's knee reach. Last time we had our right down, we're gonna have our left. So we're gonna start in nine seconds. This is my weak side. So I may not go as far back as I was on my right. So again, same leg that is swinging is a dumbbell that is reaching, while the other one just stays to your side. Keep those hips square to the floor and wall in front of you. All right, back to bent over, alternating rows. Again, shoulders stay back, chest is out, hinge, and we're just alternating rows. And if you start to feel this creep in your lower back, stick that chest out, bring those shoulders back into their sockets. Nice work. Plank hold, left side. Again, we should be holding that nice plank. We should not sway too much from one side to another. We adjust. I think I'd rather do squat down uh, touches. Okay, squat down thrust, overhead press, feet wide, squat to skinny, back to wide, up, press. Press. And wide feet, skinny feet, Wide feet, up, press. And back to punch. And one, two, three, four. Straight, one, two, three, four. Unicorn, one, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. Unicorn, one, two, three, four. We should have time for one more down. One, two, three, four. 
Let me take another round of break. Go get some water. Let me uh, tell myself off. We'll go through this timer. And again, we're gonna do two more rounds. We're gonna start with that lunge reach or runner's reach as it's called. Back to the original side. We we'll start after the eight seconds and then the break. All right. We're gonna start again in five, four, three, two, one. So I'm back to that right leg, reaching and swing foot with my left. Try to keep that foot floating. Hips staying square. Come on folks, we're halfway through this thing. Then we'll have a couple stretches. But again, if you need to bend that base leg a little more, feel free to keep those hips square. Back to rows. Feet, shoulder width, hinge at the waist, shoulders and chest out, and row. And alternating. So this should be about a one, two, three motion, okay? We don't want to go too fast. We're not going to take flight. We just need to have a nice, solid row. Again, keep that chest out and the shoulders in their sockets. Keep that head nice in line with the spine. And nice. Back to our body, the plank hold. This is a good one, but kind of second guessing. Why in the world I put this on here? All right, back to the right side. Not much I can say during that one. That one keeps me pretty darn quiet. Back to squat down thrust, overhead press. Feet wide, skinny, back to wide, up, press. So you're giving me nice vertical clean to bring those dumbbells to the rack position before you press it back down to the rack. And one more punch. Dead Christ keys watching this. We're almost 75%, bud. And punch. One, two, three, four, forward. One, two, three, Four, unicorn. One, two, three, four. Back down. One, two, three, four. Forward. One, two, three, four. Unicorn. One, two, three, four. And down. One, two, come on. Three, four. One more round. 25% left, Kreisky. Back to other side, my left for the runner's reach. Same foot goes back, same hand that reaches forward. Maintaining your hips square to the wall, the front and the floor. Notice there is no break this time. We're just gonna get through this last one, do some stretching. Then you can go back to working at home or whatever marathon you had going. 
bend over rows. And the hinge, chest out, shoulders back, and a nice slow row. Sit back on those heels, fire up that backside. Shoulders back, chest out. Thank goodness we are on our last plank hold. These are actually really good for you though. And up. Come on, almost there. If it's shaking, it's working. Holy moly. All right. Squat down thrust, overhead press. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Clean it up. Overhead press. Overhead press. Overhead press. Come on. And overhead press. Punches. One last time. Run the home stretch. Little hinge. One, two, three, four. Forward punch. One, two, three, four. Unicorn. One, two, three, four. Hinge. One, two, three, four. Forward. One, two, three, four. Unicorn, one, two, three, four. And that is our timer. Get a drink, come back, we're gonna do a little stretching. So I grab my towel. We'll sit through this next 35 seconds. Thank you for joining me, uploading this video if you did, and doing the workout. I hadn't really done a dumbbell circuit before. Not so bad. So you're gonna come down to the floor, you're gonna put your feet, I call this a runner stretch, because your knees and your feet, flat, are gonna resemble like you're running. And then you're gonna take the hand facing your feet, and you're gonna bring it across. You're gonna get this little thoracic spine stretch. At the same time, this is gonna open up your hips. This is a nice little hip stretch. If you need to reset, reset. If you can go a little further, go a little further. Again, those toes should be flexed and pointed towards your nose. I'm gonna hold. Now we're gonna do that quick little 90 and 90 shift. And scoot back. We're gonna do that same thing again, other side. And let's do it. So again, this is a nice hip opener and a nice thoracic rotation at the same time. Head should stay nice and tall. Body should be nice and tall. No slumping. Just hanging out. You can go a little further with that stretch. Go ahead. I should open up that hip. This feels good. All right. Thoracic mobility. Knees are going to go wide. We're going to come down. Elbows. Hands cupping around the ears. 
toes flexed. Then we're just gonna alternate, bringing that elbow up to the ceiling. This is the best part of the workout right here. All right, one more little stretch. We're gonna stay down here. We're gonna do that uh, reach through. So I'm gonna start with my left. I'm gonna slide it under, rest on that shoulder and get that stretch and hold. Come back up and reach through to the other side. Back up, reach. And these stretches, you can take the timer off and you can do these as long as you want. Let's do child's pose. Let's do one more. Again, keep those knees wide. And we're just going to stretch. We can walk side to side. But again, we're just going to hold this child's pose. Side to side. Hold it forward. Again, you can do this as long as you want. All right, there's your workout for dumbbells. And there is some stretching. And this is Coach Schinkel, day five of quarantine, signing out. Hope you're all well.